The youth of today are the future of tomorrow, and some of them are really storming ahead. These teens are the ones choosing to follow their passions instead of watching another TV series and putting in the extra hours to achieve their dream while still holding down a schooling career. Need some inspiration to go after your own visions? This video is for you. If you're feeling guilty about not achieving much already, we've got a solution. You may not have made it to our top 10 amazing teens list, but clicking the subscribe button is almost as amazing to us. We promise. Julia Vins With flawless makeup and a doll-like appearance, Julia isn't your typical weightlifter. Despite being so young, she's already breaking world records at the World Powerlifting Congress. The Russian teen who comes from the southwest region of Saratov has been strength training for five years now and can currently lift around 400 pounds, or the weight of a male lion. The teen trains every day of the week to achieve her toned physique. At 15 years old, she started going to the gym to improve her stamina and fitness before focusing specifically on strength training. Not knowing any of the technicalities behind lifting, she copied the exercises of the biggest guy at the gym. A year later, she started competing with the help of her boyfriend, who is also her trainer. Following a strict but basic diet of chicken, beef, vegetables, and oatmeal, she is now one of the best female lifters in the country and has been interviewed all over the world. In contrast to most people her age, Julia has already moved out of her parents' house, a feat she's funded by her weightlifting. With nearly a half a million followers on her Instagram account, called Muscle Barbie, Julia is certainly an amazing teen. Kelvin Doe Kelvin Doe had a unique introduction to engineering through collecting trash. Despite his family telling him off for doing so, Doe was determined to learn more about how electronics work. With a lack of proper resources, scrap metals and other garbage was the next best thing available. Coming from Freetown in Sierra Leone, electricity was intermittent and lights only came on once a week. Doe's poor upbringing meant that he had to keep himself amused and he chose to do this by educating himself on electronics. He would spend all day and half the night pulling apart whatever scrap metals he could find and putting them back together in new projects. His mom Mom said that often the living room would resemble a scrapyard while Doe was learning. Fast forward four years and 15 year old Doe had built his own battery powered lights, audio mixer, hand powered generator and FM radio transmitter. He started DJing under the name DJ Focus and used the radio to bring voice to his local community. He was then interviewed on local television and went on to become the youngest person ever to take part in the visiting practitioners program at MIT Media Lab. He has since presented a TED talk and now gives guest lectures at Harvard University. More than 10 million people have heard his story. Zon Hate. Not all of us enjoy education, but we can appreciate the opportunity to partake in it. Unfortunately, the same can't be said internationally. 15-year-old Zon Haidt recently made the news for campaigning against Chinese schooling laws. Haidt comes from the rural Zhangxi province in China, which means her family doesn't have a household registration or hukou. This law, which is now around half a century old, means migrant families such as Haidt's cannot attend senior high school or take college entrance exams. Despite living in Shanghai since the age of four, she was not eligible to continue her education. Instead of accepting this fact, Haidt started blogging and became the poster child for an upheaval of education laws in the country. The blog sparked national controversy, largely ignited by the 230 million migrant workers affected by the laws. Since the issue has grown in support, there have been protests and demonstrations, and Haight is happy to have taken the lead in pushing for more equality for all. She is currently being homeschooled because as of yet, she still cannot legally join high school with her peers. However, she continues to campaign and hopes the system will be evened out in the future for the next generation. Kiara Nurgen South Africa saw the worst drought ever in recorded history last year, which left eight out of nine provinces in a state of disaster. The drought left thousands with water shortages, and as a result, many crops dried up. After noticing the effects of this in her area, Kiara Nurgen developed a super absorbent polymer material that could hold huge water reserves benefiting both the communities and the farmers. The polymer, made from orange peel and avocado skins, is capable of storing water hundreds of times its own weight. Previously, the Agricultural Union of South Africa had requested over a billion dollars in aid to support the farmers through the drought. But Nurgen's development means that things could improve far earlier than anticipated. The 16-year-old entered the Google Science Fair for the Middle East and Africa with the material under the name of No More Thirsty Crops, and one claiming her invention was based on trial and error. Now that she has won the regional competition, she is waiting to find out if she is one of the 16 to get through the final stage. Nurgen's next plans are to look into engineering or health sciences. She is determined to continue improving the world with her inventions. Thomas Suarez 
This 17-year-old is already putting the rest of us to shame with his incredible computer skills. Coding might look like a random bunch of letters and numbers to most people, but Thomas Suarez confidently learned Java and Python when he was as young as 7 years old, and soon went on to build his own apps at the age of 9, starting with one called Bustin Jeeber, where, you guessed it, the player gets to repeatedly hit Justin Bieber whack-a-mole style. He has since built a variety of others, and not only this, but he's also launched his own company called Carrot Corp, which specializes in software and 3D printing. Suarez's latest accomplishment is a 3D printer which he claims is 10 times faster and more reliable than any other printer on the market at the moment. He was interviewed by the BBC in 2014 about this specific project, and his TEDx talk on the subject of kids teaching kids has been viewed over 5 million times. As of yet, the very same TED talk has been translated into 37 different languages, making it one of the most viewed talks of all time. We can't wait to see what he'll do next in the world of technology. Memory Banda Growing up in rural Malawi, Memory Banda was used to watching underage girls get married off at a young age. While her sister did so at age 11, Banda was determined to continue her education and put a stop to this practice. In this area of southern Malawi, young girls are often sent away to initiation camps where they were forced to interact with men much older than themselves. Girls are more often than not forced to drop out of school to attend these camps and then marry. So in order to put a stop to this, Banda organized literacy lessons for the girls. In 2011, Banda started working with Empowerment Network Genet and conducted interviews with girls who had attended these camps. She used this information to meet local village chiefs and put a stop to the practice. Now Banda is 18 years old and over 60 chiefs have not only condemned the practice, but have enforced heavy penalties for families who allow it to happen. Her actions have also forced local authorities to bring the legal marriage age up to 21. Jack Andraka Dubbed the Edison of today by his mentor, Jack Andraka is a 15-year-old student from Maryland who has potentially found the first significant test to detect pancreatic cancer. After his uncle died of the very same disease, Andraka wrote to 200 institutions asking to use their labs to test his idea. Out of all 200, only one replied and invited him in. Andraka's idea is very simple. A dipstick paper sensor used similarly to a pregnancy test detects the level of mesothelin protein in the urine. Mesothelin is an important biomarker for pancreatic cancer, and his design would cost only 5 cents per use. His idea was so revolutionary because it's not something that had been thoroughly looked into before. The current method for detecting cancer of this type is unreliable, and Andraka's method is also 168 times faster. Experts say it could become the world's best and cheapest test for the disease, although it'll have to undergo trials before it can be used commercially. Since his discovery, Andraka has been invited to the State of the Union address by the Obamas, and he has also won the 75,000 Grand Jury Prize at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair last year. Ben Pasternak While some teens are struggling to get by on minimum wage, Ben Pasternak is 16 years old and has already paid off his own Manhattan apartment. The tech genius from Sydney, Australia, designed his first app when he was bored in science class called Impossible Rush. It was downloaded over 1.3 million times. Now he's earned over $2 million. When his first two apps both reached the top of the worldwide downloads list, he was determined to move to New York and go into tech full time. His parents, who wanted him to go to college, compromised. If he could raise the money from his apps, then he would be allowed to move. Sure enough, Pasternak managed to raise just under $2 million in less than a year and looked to move to New York. It was then that he launched his latest app, Flog, a combination of Tinder and eBay. It's gone on to be a selling success for teens looking to buy and sell with the ease of a swipe. And now, Pasternak spends 14 to 16 hours a day with his seven-person creative team, no doubt putting together the next addictive games that will keep us hooked to our phones all over again. Jazz Jennings Although she was assigned male at birth, Jazz Jennings came out as transgender at only 5 years old. Now, at 14 years old, she's a strong activist for transgender rights and education, and has the social media following to show it. She is notable for being one of the youngest trans activists in history and is a national spokesperson across America. Her most recent achievement is to have had the first transgender doll made to represent her. She's had several high-profile interviews, a documentary, YouTube channel, picture book, and most recently, a TV series. 
She launched the Trans Kids Purple Rainbow Foundation and uses it to communicate with other kids in the same position and offer them support. Although her own family has been nothing but supportive, she is well aware that not everyone is so lucky. She hopes the foundation will work to educate schools and government bodies. She has also more recently launched Purple Rainbow Tales, a company that creates fashion mermaid tales to raise money for transgender children. Jennings' campaigning work has given her the opportunity to meet celebrities like Laverne Cox and Jennifer Lawrence, and she has no plans to stop anytime soon. Shubham Banerjee 15-year-old Shubham Banerjee was shocked to learn that braille printers were so expensive compared to standard ones, and so decided to create his own. He initially thought up his idea for a school science project, and went on to create a printer that used Lego bricks to type out braille. With some funding help from his father, Banerjee started up Brago Labs just last summer. Since then, he has won numerous awards and has gained international support from the blind community. He was only 12 years old when he closed on a deal for an undisclosed sum with Intel to turn his school project into a professional reality. Banerjee himself is not blind, but thought it was unfair that those who are should have to pay so much money just to be able to do something simple like read. His long-term goal is to build a desktop printer that will cost around $350 instead of $2,000, which is industry standard for the time being. He is thought to be the youngest entrepreneur to receive funding from Intel, and has used the money to hire professionals to create Brago 2.0, which can first turn electronic text into Braille before printing it. He officially launched his Brago beta platform last year. If that didn't inspire you to go chase your own dreams, we don't know what will. We hope you enjoyed learning about these inspirational teens, and make sure to subscribe to The Hub so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Thanks!